Pimps Play as Bros and Hoes. Mike C Town here with another uh, What Do You Want to Know? Where you can send me your questions, and if I find them uh, remotely intriguing, I will answer them on camera. By the way, if you want to submit your questions, um, you can submit them through my Tumblr, which will be in the comment description section thing down there, or you can put them on my, uh, my YouTube discussion board, which will also be in the uh, info section down below. Um, don't, don't really leave them in the comment section here because even if it's a great question, by the time I get around to doing another one of these videos, I will have totally forgotten about it. So, um, so yeah, let's, um, let's get started. First question, B. Brian Walsh H. asked you, Hey Mike, huge fan of the DHH show as well as your personal channel. I'm also a big fan of TND, uh, the Neil Drop. And I hear Anthony mention that what he does on YouTube is arguably a full-time job, although he does other music-related articles and things of that nature as well. But even that is under the music umbrella. I was wondering if the opportunity arose, would you actually do DEHH? slash your own channel, slash other music related writing as a full-time profession. Thanks and keep up all the good work. Thanks, uh, B. Brian, Nin Nin. Um, yeah, I'm a total music obsessive, you know. It's what I really think about the most out of anything, you know. I'm always thinking about um, what new bands are out and what uh, record I need to buy next. But with, um, with doing Dead in Hip Hop, I can admit that, you know, the passion has, has dwindled a bit it's funny it's really dwindled more with hip-hop than anything else you know like before doing dead in hip-hop i used to spend all day on uh two dope boys and rap radar and any other music site looking up the hot latest rappers but you know i don't do that anymore you know mainly because listening to rap albums has become you know uh almost a job for me now you know i listen to rap albums mostly to review them you know i don't listen to them anymore for personal enjoyment you know what i mean and i don't like that you know i don't go out seeking um new rap artists anymore because i can't really you know i'm constantly bombarded with you know review this album mike listen to this album mike you know i don't have time really anymore or the 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 desire to go out and uh try to find stuff on my own um, because I have so much stuff building up to the side that I need to listen to for reviews or just because a lot of people on Twitter and Facebook and email have recommended them. And plus the fact that people think that I have absolutely nothing else to do during the course of my day other than listen to rap music. So I'm constantly getting, you know, listen to my track, give me some feedback. I, you know, uh, check out my mixtape and, you know, uh, it's just made me completely uninterested in hip hop, um, or at least uninterested in going out and actively constantly searching for new artists. I still stay on blogs looking for new metal albums, new experimental albums, um, because I can listen to that for uh, pure enjoyment. I don't have to, to think about them technically or think about them um, objectively. I can just put them on and enjoy them, you know? But with hip hop, I don't feel it like I used to, and that and that that kind of sucks. Um, but I, I think if I was going to do something uh, music related as a job, it would have to span across genres. I don't think I could do it for one genre more than another. I think if I were able to spread my attention out between multiple genres, then my attention wouldn't dwindle or fade towards one particular music type. So. The long answer to your question, yeah, I would love to do something um, music related as a profession, um, whether it be music reviewing, concert reviewing, um, or whatever. But I just hope it would be something that would not be primarily focused on one genre. But yeah, anything is better than the cubicle job I have now. Next question. The Wolves Den asks, Hey man, two questions. Do you firmly believe that there is something for everybody in every genre? Also, how do you readjust to a different genre when you're used to how one already sounds? I'm trying to expand out personally, but often just go back to my comfort of my preferred genre. Thanks for your question, Wolves Den. Um, do I think there's something for everybody in every genre? Absolutely not. It really depends on the person. You know, not every genre 
is is made for everyone. Um, I listen to almost every genre out there, but for instance, I can't stand new metal. I can't even think of a single band that I even remotely like that would be considered new metal. You know, I think the whole genre itself is just terrible. Actually, I take that back. Um, I did. <laughs> I did like Stained for like 10 minutes. It's been a while since I could hold my head up high. And it's been a while since I first saw you. Then I woke up one day and realized this shit is awful. Why am I listening to this? But yeah, it's all about musical taste and how open you are to other genres. Um, I think there, there could be something within the lyrical content maybe for everyone um, with certain genres, but I don't know, man. I, I, don't, I don't really try to put down somebody or think differently of somebody that doesn't listen to multiple genres unless they're trying to shit on me because I do. So I don't know, man. Um, I don't think there's something for everyone in every genre. It really just depends on the person and how, how open you are to different sounds and different, uh, different aesthetics. As far as uh, readjusting, I don't have to readjust um, when it comes to listening to one genre and switching to another. I can, I can go from listening to Mob Deep to Emperor in one car ride. It really just depends on my mood. My music taste is really, really dictated by my mood. You know, if I'm in a bad mood, yeah, dude, I'll throw on fucking Iljarn or some just gross black metal. Or if I'm in a good mood, I may throw on, you know, some LP or some Brother Ali, you know. Um, or something like that, or even some nostalgia. I might throw on like Seven Seconds or Operation Ivy or Fishbone or, you know, Bad Religion, Rilla Biscuit, something like that. You know, um, if I'm feeling in a melancholy type of mood, I'll throw on some good old country music. You know, if I'm feeling heartbroken, yeah, you know, that I've talked about that before. Um, it really just depends on the mood. You can't force yourself to like every genre of music, but what you can do is you can learn about them before you try to dive too deep into them. You know, like take uh, take country music, for example. Like if you didn't know anything at all about country music and the only thing you heard was the radio, you heard Keith Urban, right? You may dismiss the entire genre thinking, you know, this Keith Urban guy is terrible and, you know, it has nothing for me. Not knowing that there are people out there like uh, Merle Haggard and George Jones and, you know, Waylon Jennings and Hank Williams, who may be writing songs that you could actually identify with, you know, um, who actually sing about things that may interest you versus Keith Urban, who just writes shitty pop songs, you know? I feel sometimes if you really research um, a certain genre and understand what its roots are, what, um, how it originated, versus where it is now, then you may get something more out of it. If you can understand, okay, it was, it started around this concept, even though it's not here now, this is how it progressed to here. Um, I think it may, it may interest you, especially when it comes to genres like, like hip hop or like country or like metal or like punk, for example. Like if you just go, turn on the radio or something or, or Spotify or whatever and the first thing that pops up is Good Charlotte and you're like, what in the hell is this garbage? Not knowing that there's bands out there that are, are 10 times better than that, that are real punk bands, not knowing there's bands like Circle Jerks or Sex Pistols or, or anything else, you know, you may dismiss the entire genre, but if you really feel like you want to, to delve into other genres, Look it up, research it, and see how it started. See what other bands are involved in that genre. And that'll help you um, first understand where they're coming from. That'll also help you weed out the bands within that genre that you may not really be into at all. And it may help you find um, a, a, a more solid understanding of the genre, which may help you appreciate the music itself. But if you still, after all of that, you can't understand at all where the genre is coming from, you don't like the bands aesthetically, you don't like them sonically, then just let it go, man. There's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The genre simply isn't for you. I gave Mudvayne a shot. You know what I'm saying? I gave Mushroomhead a shot. I gave Creed a shot. 
it didn't work and I'm I'm totally fine with that certain certain types of music they're just not for you it's all right man it's okay dude it's cool man you'll be all right the third and last question Papa Jobin asks favorite big four thrash metal band why and who and least favorite why and who smiley face um Papa Jobin <laughs> Uh, it, it's weird talking about um, thrash metal and then looking at the end of your question and seeing a smiley face like I will start off by saying easily my favorite out of the big four well actually let me say first for those who don't know who the big four uh, thrash bands are which I feel sorry for your mother um, Slayer, Metallica um, Megadeth and Anthrax are the big four they're considered to be the four biggest thrash bands, the most successful thrash bands, the most influential thrash bands. Um, whether or not I agree with that is completely beside the point. The question was, who are my favorites and who are my least favorite? Um, I will say easily, my favorite out of the big four is Slayer. You know, a lot of people would be confused um, about Slayer over Metallica, but I just always loved the style of Slayer. I love the aesthetics of Slayer. I, I I love their riffs. I love their song. You know, I give Metallica all their credit for what they did for Thrash, for taking Thrash over the the hill and making it an actual phenomenon. I give them all the credit for that. But Slayer has just always appealed to me more, you know? I'll throw on South of Heaven or Rain and Blood any day before I put on, you know, Ride the Lightning or Kill Em All. You know, even though I love those albums, but, you know, there's something about classic Slayer album, especially for me, South of Heaven, you know. Before you see the light, you must die! Metallica has those kind of songs, but they don't get me as hype as Slayer songs. I just love how fast they were. I love the riffs. I love the leads. I love the vocals. But I love all of those things with Metallica too, but um, Slayer just appeal to me more, you know? So the way my order goes is Slayer is at the top, of course Metallica right after that. Then you have Anthrax. You know, I love Anthrax, but their silliness kind of gets old a little bit. Even though they're incredible musicians, they wrote some some incredible songs, you know, Die like an Indian, you know, and, and, and Got the Time. Great songs, but <clears throat> sometimes them being a little goofy uh, it kind of pulled back a little bit of my attention for them. Although I will throw out this little tidbit, one of the first songs I ever learned on guitar outside of Even Flow by Pearl Jam was the, um, the metal uh, version of Bring the Noise with Public Enemy and Anthrax. Just throwing that out there for those who give a shit. So yes, obviously, my least favorite, Megadeth. I can't stand Megadeth. I think Megadeth is awful. I've never, ever, ever liked them. I've given them so many chances. I think they suck. I think their songs are boring. I think Dave Mustaine's vocals are just, just atrocious, dude. You take a mortal man and you put him in control. Just, oh man. Just like the Pied Piper. So bad. Bad, dude, so bad. To me, they've just always been the Big Lots family dollar version of Metallica, which I don't need that in my life. I already have Metallica, and Metallica is good. Why get the clearance aisle version of Metallica? And I'm not saying that Dave Mustaine isn't a good guitar player. Sure, he's, he's a fine guitar player. He just can't write songs for shit, man. You know, that that's my opinion. Plus, I think Dave Mustaine's an idiot. You know, uh, he says things, then goes back on them constantly. You know, he says he's a born-again Christian, then says he doesn't believe in religion. You know, he has these jacked up uh, ideas about gay rights. And, you know, not that I look to artists, especially metal artists, not that I look to them for moral guidance or, or anything like that, but I'm just saying his views on life don't help me like his crappy band anymore. Personally, I would rather see a band like Creator or Destruction or Sepultura or Violence for Christ's sake 
rather than Megadeth. I would never want to sit through a Megadeth set live. I feel like I would want to kill myself. Did anybody see that video of Dave Mustaine playing with that, that symphony? Jesus Christ. This is what happens when metal musicians uh, get born again. Jesus ain't down with that kind of shit. Unless it's unless it's Striper, I would take Striper over Megadeth. All right, I'll say it. I'll say it loud and proud. I will take Striper to hell with the devil. I'll take that over you. Take a mortal man. I'll any day, any day, man. I don't even want to talk about Megadeth no more. This shit put me in a bad mood. I, I'm done. So yeah, everybody, thank you for your questions. I greatly appreciate it. Um. Like I said before, if you have any, any, any more questions that you'd like to see me talk about on my channel, feel free to um, submit them to my Tumblr or put them on my YouTube uh, discussion board. And that's it. You know how we do in these motherfucking streets? Peace, bitches.